Hello guys, Brian back to Filecoin updates. Finally, huh? We finally got some movement out of this thing. Up 6.2% uh, as I make this video at $5.94. And we've been talking about this uh, move up here for, geez, about a week now. And all we did was consolidate, you know, in this channel here sideways for the last few days, which has been super frustrating okay so i'm going to show you guys I, mean, I have it broke down inside here what i believe is going on and what we can look for next i'm going to go over what an analyst is uh showing which coordinates with the price targets that we we've had up here for a little bit so let's get into this guys and if i could ask you to please hit that subscribe button i would appreciate it so much uh I love covering file coins, it's one of my favorite coins, and try to keep you guys updated with all the news and everything as quick as I can. And uh, We do that giveaway at the end of every month, we just gave away 180A, all you have to do to enter is be a subscriber to the channel, so let's get into this. It says, way to go for Filecoin, the decentralized storage network. And it goes over, I'm not going to bore you guys here, I'm going to get right to it. It goes over what Filecoin is up here, the decentralized storage network was founded in 2014 by Juan Bennett and is backed by several prominent investors including uh, Sequoia Capital, Union Square Ventures, and the Address and Her Horowitz. The Filecoin network operates on a proof of replication consensus mechanism. Um, we can go down through here. It has the utilities, the features, and the future. This thing has got a great future. I guarantee that. Anything, uh, you know, Filecoin is the biggest storage uh, you know crypto th out there so let's go down here filecoin price targets on a fib retracement okay it says the fib retracement suggests the filecoin will soon reach some thrilling levels the fib retracement over the daily time period illustrates the levels that file needs to reach the first milestone is set at five dollars and 83 cents which we passed that today if the price of file manages to break out the second milestone is set at 708 remember that remember that 708 which denotes a recovery of file crypto through the 652 level in between the third milestone is indicated at 844 by a fib retracement which points to the maximum recovery of file crypto to exceed the remaining price targets at 945 and 1240 the fourth and fifth milestones respectively so Let's uh, move on here because remember that 708 that we were talking about there because that's going to come back in handy here. Here's your top 100 cryptos on the daily chart. Uh, you can see Fowl is one of the biggest gainers out there today besides Engine. And uh, some red out there. Bitcoin, uh, keep talking. We need that breakout from that thing. Boy, oh boy, it's just... Uh, and I totally believe we're going to get it. It's just a matter of matter of time, honestly. Here's the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. The market cap is down three quarters of 1%. Volume is up 6.09% over 24 hours. $48 billion in the market spent. So Bitcoin dominance is up 0.16%. And the Crypto Fear and Greed Indicator is up one click to a 64 today. We were at a 63 yesterday on this thing. Here's your top gainers and losers for the day. You can see Engine and Fowler are the number two. One and two, I'm sorry. I believe this is the top 100. Um, looks like about 100 coins, 50 or 100, not sure. I never really counted all of them, but it ends right there. So, you can see there, not, not, once again, not any big losers on the right-hand side there, you know, as we can plainly see here uh, Bitcoin is just bouncing around in there you know that's this is Bitcoin on the one hour on a daily look at this thing you know obviously we are waiting for it to break through this level and get back up into these uh, you know $30,000 range and it just keeps fighting and fighting up here so it hasn't gotten uh, you know hasn't got knocked back yet so that's what we need. We need it to bust out right here. As soon as this thing busts above uh, 29.3, boy, look out. I believe this market's going to fly, you know, because then the next, uh, really, the next um, resistance levels, look at that big wide open gap there. I mean, this thing could get up to, uh, to the 37,000 range fairly easy once it regains 
that you know as a support here right now it's resistance it keeps getting knocked back but it's hanging in there i'll give bitcoin that so let's get back to filecoin here that's why you're here i apologize i just like to show bitcoin because we all know when that thing breaks look out this uh we got some price movement coming so let's get uh let's put this on the hourly all right all right let's I apologize let me get this in here for you guys number one let's get that big uh that channel off there we were talking about because we were going sideways there all right now you can you can see the bigger move of this was a a leg up a b leg down and a c leg up okay now we hit that first price target for that c leg um right at uh 596 to 610 area roughly and uh we ended up hitting that that first area so i kind of expect this thing maybe to pull back from here maybe come back down to 583 and consolidate a little bit um the reason i believe we have the uh the abc going on here number one the fib measurement number two if you uh you can see two three four five we had five three and then you can see right over here one two three four five which would make a five three five inside of this abc i apologize that it, uh it's kind of gets messy when you start breaking down them waves inside there that's why i didn't want to put all that up there at one time okay but after that okay we had them five waves down a bigger abc correction inside of this five waves here then we had our five three and i'm still looking for that retracement from this bigger move right here okay let me show you he was talking about that 708 level which i have been talking about for uh for a while now right up at uh seven dollars to 720 okay i've had this retracement up here we've been waiting for for a while so after this abc correction it looks about finished out it looks like we might have maxed out there for the time being you know i could be i could be totally wrong absolutely i have been wrong numerous times and I, that is one thing i am uh i will man up and admit you know you, nobody knows for sure what the market's going to do all you can do is give it your best look and uh it's not financial advice at all folks i'm just showing you what i see inside here and it, it lines up you got your five waves inside your a leg you got your three inside your b and you got your five inside your c leg so everything lines up to me and looks right um the the rsis you still got that four hour heading up down there so who knows it could have a little bit left on it let's look at the daily rsi it's getting near the top the eight hour it's still got some room up you know so it could have could be an impulsive wave looks like that 12 is spinning back up so i'm not saying this thing cannot impulse and uh sometimes these things can overextend and it could head up a little bit more but on the hourly we are at that top and you can see we're kind of kind of sputtering out a little bit here okay we first of all we busted up through that resistance level at that 583 and we came back and retested it now as support and we're kind of going sideways here all right and that it, one hour is overextended there on that rsi quite honestly it could come back to uh 578 that would be on top of here as a uh, support so i might have my line in the wrong spot here let's move it down right about there looks perfect to me i'm going to keep it right there because that lines up with the breakout and the retest so could pull back to 581 582 area consolidate before we uh get our next move up so thank you so very much guys please hit that subscribe button i would love to have you guys here every day and uh, thank you so much for all your support i hope you have a wonderful easter if i don't talk to you before then and thank you so much for watching my video i appreciate it